Hello, it is time for a special update from the Republican Party of Arizona. I am your chairwoman, Dr. Kelly Ward. A group of grassroots activists and volunteers here in Arizona conducted a canvas, a canvas of certain precincts in Maricopa County regarding the 2020 election. And that group has issued a report on their findings and I wanted to share these results with you. Now, I want you to be clear that this effort is not part of the official for full forensic audit of the 2020 Maricopa County election that was requested by the Arizona State Senate. This, however, is important, very important additional information. So the canvassers went door to door and they asked for the resident's name so that they could accurately identify them in the county data. Then they asked about every registered voter at that address. After that, they asked a series of questions to the people who answered the door. They asked, what method did you use to vote? How many ballots did you receive in the mail for yourself? How many ballots did you receive for other people who don't live here? What'd you do with any extra ballots that you received? How many registered voters are there supposed to be at this address? And finally, what is the total number of registered voters at this address who voted in the November 2020 election? Now the canvassers visited 11,708 homes in Maricopa County and they were able to gather data from 4570 of them, about 42%. The vast majority of the canvassing was done in four precincts in Southeast Maricopa County. Approximately 8% of the homes were scattered around the rest of the county. Now, as many of you may know, Maricopa County is very large and according to the county recorder, over 2 million people voted in the 2020 election. Now here is some of what this grassroots organization found, okay? <laughs> Out of 964 people in the canvas that were listed as having not voted in the election, 330 of them said that yes, indeed, they had voted. That comes out to 34.23%. Another startling statistic was of the people who were listed as having voted by mail. Of the 3,606 registered voters that were home and interviewed, 20 or 2,897 were recorded by the county as having voted by mail. Of that 2,897, there were 164 mail-in voters identified by the people interviewed as unknown to the resident or having moved prior to the election registration deadline. That is 5.66% of the mail-in voters listed at those addresses. 26 people that were canvassed said they hadn't voted, but a mail-in vote was recorded for them with Maricopa County. Now, granted, this was simply a sample of the whole county, you know, about a little over 4,500 people. But if these percentages hold up across the county, there are potentially hundreds of thousands of votes that were counted incorrectly or not counted at all. Remember, many polls that are done are done by questioning 500 or fewer people, and then that data is extrapolated from those polls and, and put out there. In this case, nearly 10 times the people in typical polls were actually canvassed. These are disturbing numbers and they should be given to the audit team that's working with the state Senate, in my opinion. They should incorporate it into their report. These numbers certainly deserve to be evaluated, verified, and expanded across more of the county and possibly across the whole state. We learn more about this every single day and we've got to get to the bottom of it. Missing voters, ghost voters, people who say that they didn't vote, but they have a vote that was recorded by Maricopa County. Completely and totally disturbing. I think we better be thinking about the possibility of decertification. Here at the Republican Party of Arizona, it is always election integrity and America first.
I'll see you soon.